Hey, how you doing? Hey, admin from Plex God. So we already completed the PG move video. So now we're moving to PG Blitz. Um, as of right now, this is utilizing Plex God 7.4.11. Uh, point nine was released as the beta. So if you're on point uh, below this, make sure that you update to it and then just kind of go through this process with me here. So <clears throat> we're already assuming that you already generated your Google O authentication keys. Keep in mind that we already built it into the wiki. Uh, on how to obtain it. It's really the only kind of chore you have to do. Um, and you have to understand that Plex Guy basically writes its own R clone config file and does its own Google authentication. Uh, when the Google authentication occurs, it occurs from your project, your server, meaning that we have nothing to do with it, which is good for you for privacy um, because there are projects that are looking at <laughs> kind of being a man in the middle, so I would avoid uh, uh, going that route. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do um, is we're gonna go to PG Clone, which basically provides all the services. And just keep in mind, I already have things deployed. It's I'm gonna just enter it again, and I'm gonna get prompts about, hey, does this, this already exist, you know, delete it. It'll basically be baseline to what you have if you haven't said anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick data transport mode, and this is again, PG Blitz with no encryption. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with O authentication mounts. So keep in mind, in this edition, you cannot set any encrypted stuff. This will add your Google Drive and your Team Drive. So in this one, um, you're able to access both data, but you cannot access any encrypted stuff. So just keep that in mind. If you want to access your encrypted stuff, then you're going to have to go with the encrypted version. Okay, so next, these all say set. So if you're brand new, they should say not set. There should be no, it probably say not set here. And then it talks about, um, these need to be activated. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our client ID and our client secret. Pretty easy process. So let's see where it is here. Okay. So again, this is a test. So this is worthless to you. <laughs> so um, enter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the client, I mean the secret ID. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I just had a a nice dry run in the cold so you know tends to <laughs> kind of wipe you out a little bit okay so that's set so now we're gonna go it's we gotta obtain our team drive label now make sure that you first created a team drive so you go to Google Drive you go to team drives and then you just create one it's, it's really a simple process but if you fail to uh, create a team drive this is gonna cause you all kinds of problems here because the reason this is this is gonna go out and scout for it so we're gonna do three and we're gonna verify our Google authentication here and it's gonna list all your team drive names. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this real quick. Okay, welcome back. Okay, paste. And you see it brings up our team drive names here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three. And that's it for that part. So again, just make sure that everything lines up, you know. Make sure uh, you select the right team drive, the keys, you know, that whole thing. So um, next we're going to verify our G drive. And it's, for me, it says it already exists. In, in this case, if this is the same thing for you, you just go ahead and hit yes. <clears throat> It'll delete the previous configuration. And it's going to ask you, do you want to um, build it based off these values? You press yes. And then we're going to copy this. And same process, gonna pause. Okay, gonna go ahead and paste this. And it's gonna do a validation check. Yeah, trust me, that comes in handy. There's been times where I did the wrong thing, and it, most of the times it's, this does not work, it's either because you just botch this process. There was one time where like I wasn't paying attention, I had like the old key from the previous, and it didn't work. Um, bad API, you forgot to enable it, uh, you're on the wrong account, you know, generating it. So there could be minor reasons why, so just make sure you're paying attention to that. And the same thing will apply to the T drive. So that's your team drive. <laughs> Stupid me. Okay. You see, I try to error proof this program as much as I can. Okay, we're going to proceed. And you'll be surprised. The error proofing takes more time than the actual coding. And the reason is, is because if we put quality uh, error proofing into the program, which is not 100% proof, it will prevent getting lit up from a thousand questions. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Okay, so this should be the final one for that. 
it's going to validate that. So if that validates, that's good. And usually the same problems apply above. Then set your team drive, X, Y, and Z. Okay. So key management. So you're going to have to manage your keys. So we're going to go in here. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to log into your account. And then you're going to have to set your project option up. If you have no project, it, you can definitely create one. So that's not a problem at all. So right now I'm already logged in. I'm not going to revalidate that process, but it will be the same thing. You're going to have to revalidate. And I under, at first I didn't understand why Google was doing this, but now I really truly understand. And the difference that uh, it makes is that, um, you know, if somebody just generally steals your password, uh, even with certain uh, protections like SMS and all that stuff, um, you know, people can get to your, you know, get into your account. But with this, they're truly making sure you're logging in along with providing you keys. So I kind of commend Google on that piece. <laughs> okay. So you can establish a project or create a project or destroy. Destroy is not ready. Um, destroy is just because you just want to shorten your list when I, when I build this in. Um, if you already have projects created, just pick establish and it'll give you a list to choose from. If you need to create one, you can. So you can see right now I got 409. So I'm going to go ahead and create one just to show you the process. If the only reason it bungles and the reason it might is it's because you already have too many. So yeah, so I already got too many projects. So that's the main reason why. Okay. So project options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and establish 409. I even already have it, but it's just a proof of, you know, concept. And normally you can only have about five after five projects that, you know, without having a paid paid account, it will fail. Okay. So project ID. Yes. And then project name in the future, I'm gonna have a setup where you just type one through five, but for right now you got to type it in five, four, nine. If you mess up, it'll just, it'll ask you again to, to put it in. Okay, so that's pretty much it for acknowledgement. So now, um, looks like we found one glitch. It kicks me back out to the main menu. Trust me, there were several of those before I released the main thing. So I'm gonna go back in to key management. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create service keys. Two, or I mean three. And again, it's gonna keep validating. <laughs> Good thing, right? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and create two keys and understand that if you create a prior keys and you keep creating keys You do not have to destroy your keys in the old Plex guide. You did it just kind of rewiped your keys and kind of sucked Okay Creating keys Pretty neat, huh? I, I still can't believe I even made this <laughs> but uh Okay So the email generator is the only thing I haven't automated yet, but it's pretty simple. You just kind of take this copy and paste and you just kind of add the members to the team drive and don't worry about adding endless members it's not going to cause you a problem so i'm going to go to team drives here go to media and then you go to add members paste and then skip notification if you mess this up don't worry about it don't worry about messing with that just add continue And then we should be good to go. So let's check. And the way we'll know is, is that when we're deploying it, we'll find, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll you know, um, air out on us. It's a good idea that if you back up your keys, so in the future, let's say you rebuild a server, you don't have to do all this. You don't have to log in or nothing. You just do restore keys and it'll rebuild everything for you. All you have to do is restore keys and then uh, redeploy the server. The only thing you have to generate is the G drive. Yeah, just to make sure that you can pull all your prior configurations. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and back up keys. There's a one error that will show up that I might have that I have to fix. Uh, actually, it may not show up. If you see something about purging failed, don't worry about it. What it is is Plex Guy is attempting to delete all your prior stuff uh, from that folder and then replace it with these keys. And it looks like it's working fine. Yep. So deleted the prior stuff. So how you see, so it's backing up your R clone configuration and it's backing up your, uh, it's backing up your keys at the same time. So you do not have to reconfigure all this. The only, like I said, the only thing you have to do is configure Google Drive for the first time. And the reason for it is, is because how can you access your stuff, right? So, okay. So let's back out and 
cross fingers and we're going to deploy so I don't have to redo this video. Four. And it's going to do all its validation checks. So it's going to check G drive, T drive, and it's going to check your uh, one of your GDSA keys. If this fails, looks like it's a pass. Okay, so you can see that it's deploying everything. And that is pretty much it. So let's make sure that it's working. So here's some status commands you can do. So you can do S uh, blitz. I don't think I did this one. Let me see. Nope. S, um, actually I need to create that one now. S T drive and then control C. So you see it's running. That's good. S G drive. And that's good. That's running. And then S union FS. And these are custom commands I made. So just think of the thing and then just put S on it. Good. If it says exited, that's normal. Don't 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 freak out about that. Okay. Um, if you ever want to see how they look like, you just type N and then whatever it is. So G drive. See, there's your there's your write up for your mount there. <clears throat> if you make changes, they don't work right away unless you restart your system. Okay. Uh, or you do that custom command. I, I forget it off the top of my head. See. So you can do the same thing there, and then you can type N union FS. Okay, pretty simple, right? Okay, and then just to make sure that everything's working, I always do a test. So first we're gonna do LSLA, mount union FS. Good sign. LSLA, mount G drive. Good. LSLA, mount uh, T drive. There you go. So yeah, because I know that exists in my T drive. Remember to have different files in both, so that's how you can truly test to make sure it's working. And to make sure that everything's working, PG log. Eventually this command's gonna change, probably just the PG blitz. <clears throat> so, because basically I got rid of a lot of the log and it's all blitz based now. Okay, so to test this, we're gonna go to CD mount move, because this is where all your files are gonna be to type touch, ZZZ, uh, popcorn, now, let's see. Uh, zoom. zoom cat text okay and it's always good to do these checks I mean we're, we're pretty confident in it but you may discover that some things may be not working okay so type LSLA should be gone okay that's sign good sign number one if I type PG log that's good it says that it moved it to the GDSA it's doing the upload okay so that's a good sign there and then we're gonna go to media and definitely stop those notifications. There you go. See? ZZ Zoom Cat. That's it. So Union FS may take a minute to populate. LSLA Mount Union FS. Yep. ZZ Zoom Cat. See? Showed up that quick. And you could tell that it does not show up in the ls tac la mount g drive see it doesn't show up there which is pretty standard but it does show up here in the t drive see so everything works as expected that's how you kind of know you have confidence before you kind of execute this whole program so um just like i always say in all my videos please like subscribe save uh comment donate is very helpful uh because it, it helps me buy more servers and equipment uh, it keeps me admin off my back. And uh, yeah, feel free to chime in the community. Uh, you know, push anything, do anything. If you see that little globe cop popping up, hit subscribe. Um, other than that, I got to make one more video just for the encrypted edition. And I got to make a minor edit. <laughs> just ignore that. All right, you have an outstanding day. Bye.